الحين طبعا تأثير Uh, our lecture today about radiological anatomy of the breast. Uh, the breast, it is a hemispherical with an axillary tail of a sphinx and consists of fat and a variable amount of glandular tissue. The breast overlie the second to sixth rib on the anterior chest wall. It is entirely invested by the fascia of the chest wall, which split into anterior and posterior layer to envelope it. The fascia forms septa called pupar ligament, which attach the breast to the skin anteriorly and to the fascia of pectoralis posteriorly. They also run through the breast, providing a supportive framework between the two facial layers. Uh, the extent of the breast uh, vertically extend from the second to sixth rib uh, base of the breast, a horizontally lateral uh, margin of the sternum to the mid axillary line. Two thirds of the breast lie in the superficial fascia, lying on pectoral major. One third of the breast lie in the superficial fascia, lying on the serratus anterior muscle. Breast quadrant. The breast is divided into four quadrants, upper and lower outer quadrant, and the upper and the lower inner quadrant, and according to the uh, o'clock. Naming the quadrant for purpose of describing a lump. Breast quadrant and the breast cancer. Uh, the breast cancer uh, more uh, occur in the uh, upper outer quadrant with the uh, 50% and uh, in the upper uh, inner uh, quadrant about 15% uh, and in the uh, outer uh, lower about 11% uh, and in the lower inner about 6% and in the uh, area of uh, areola about uh, 18%. Muscle in relation. Uh, pectoralis uh, major, it is a major muscle mass posterior to the breast. Lymphatic from a breast pierce and circumvent it. Uh, about uh, pectoralis uh, minor, superior portion crosses anterior to the axillary sheath, dividing the axilla into low, mid, and high region. Uh, interpectoral node lie immediately anterior. Uh, this muscle uh, considered landmark for axillary nodal level. Serratus anterior. Uh, medial uh, wall occur in the medial, uh, presented the medial wall of the axilla, and uh, it is major muscle mass uh, deep to the lateral one third of the breast. Lattice mass dorsal muscle, posterior wall of the axilla, and fascia continuous with the axillary fascia. Other muscle like subclavian, rectus, and abdominus, and external oblique may come into relation and are exposed during mastectomy. Axillary tail of spins. Axillary tail of spins is a prolongation of upper outer quadrant in axillary direction passes under axillary fascia. The axillary tail of the breast is of surgical importance. In some normal subject, it is palpable and in a few, it can be seen preministerially or during lactation. A well-developed tail, axillary tail, is sometimes mistaken for mass of a large lymph node or lipoma. Uh, mammary ridge. The mammary ridge extends from axilla to the inguinal region. In a human, the ridge disappears except for small parts in pectoral region. In animal, several mammary glands are forming along this ridge. It's a line of uh, mammary ridge in mammals. Structure of the breast. The skin, uh, which uh, composed of uh, nipple, contain uh, nipple and uh, uh, areola, uh, parenchyma, and strum. This is the parenchyma lobule uh, in between the fat, uh, represent the uh, strum. The nipple, the pigmented nipple project from the interior surface of the breast is surrounded by a pigmented areola 
and it is position is variable, but it usually lies over the fourth intercostal space in non pendulous breast. Parenchyma. The loops composed of 15 to 20, uh, it is 15 to composed of minute glandular structure called lobule. Each lobule drains several acini. Lobule empty by ductule and lactiferous duct. Uh, this loop and this lobule and this uh, terminal uh, ductule and this duct, lactiferous duct and areola, uh, uh, lactiferous sinus and nipple. Lactiferous duct open into uh, nipple contain ample linear it is end. You talked about the severe of uh, milk or abnormal discharge. It's a small uh, diagram about the lobule and uh, the uh, terminal uh, duct, and this is the lactiferous duct and lactiferous sinus on nipple. The glandular tissue of the SNE and ductal tissue draining them comprise the breast parenchyma. The fat surrounded and the parenchyma structure and fibrotic framework of the breast constitute the citroma. Abundant of parenchyma and citroma varies according to the age parity and other factor. Breast in section, uh, this is a section of uh, non-lactating uh, uh, breast and this uh, during lactation. And this pectoralis minor and pectoralis major muscle and suspensory ligament in between syndrome. Plus supply of uh, the breast. Uh, branches of internal mammary or thoracic uh, artery supply approximately 60% of the breast, mainly medial and central. This is internal uh, thoracic. And uh, the lateral thoracic branches uh, of axillary artery supply about 30% mainly appear outer quadrant, upper outer quadrant. This is the lateral thoracic branch. Perforated branches of the intercostal arteries, other perforated branches, venous drainage, axillary and subclavian, and a zygous system. Internal thoracic, axillary, and lateral thoracic, and intercostal arteries. Lymphatic drainage of the breast, uh, lymph flow unidirection from the superficial to deep in the breast to the uh, perilobular and deep subcutaneous plexus. Lymph in the deep plexus then drain centrifugally from the nipple to the axillary and internal mammary chain. There are superficial lymphatic under the skin of the breast and a particular concentration in the subarular plexus beneath the nipple. However, the majority of the drainage is to the axillary chain with less than 5% to the internal mammary chain. Per axillary lymph node level. They are defined according to the surgeon approach to the axillary node during dissection. An anatomical landmark is pectoralis minor. Clinical and uh, node st staging of carcinoma of a breast is done based on this level. This level one, level two uh, on the pectoral muscle, and level three. The axillary lymph nodes are arranged in groups. Uh, this refers to as level, level one node uh, lie lateral to the lateral border of pectoralis minor and the level two lie behind the pectoralis minor and the level three node lie medial to the medial border of pectoralis minor. Uh, nodes may also lie in the brace tissue. The most common uh, location is in the upper outer quadrant and axillary tail of the internal mammary node lie in the intercostal space in the parasternal location adjacent to the internal mammary vessel in the kisrap dural fat. Uh, lymph node station about axillary uh, represent uh, uh, 85% uh, uh, composed of anterior, posterior, central, and uh, lateral, apical, and uh, interpectoral nodes. Inter, inter, internal mammary uh, parasternal represent uh, 10%. Others, 5% uh, supraclavicular, cephalic, uh, deltopectoral, uh, posterior intercostal, subdiaphragmatic, and subperitoneal.
lymphatic drainage of the breast from uh, the left breast terminate in the thoracic duct and uh, subsequently to the left subclavian vein. On the right, they ultimately drain into the right subclavian vein near it is junction with inter internal jugular vein. Here, uh, the left uh, breast uh, terminate the lymphatic duct and this, the right lymphatic duct. Now the nerve supply, fourth to sixth intercostal nerve by their anterior and lateral cutaneous branches. The nipple is supplied from anterior branch of the lateral cutaneous branch of G4. It forms an extensive plexus within the nipple that are essential in signal suckling from central nervous system. Secretory activities of the gland are largely controlled by ovarian and hypophysial hormone rather than by efferent motor fiber. The area has fewer sensory ending. Areola has fewer sensory ending. Breast imaging. Uh, now uh, uh, we have a mammograph, ultrasound, MRI, and other modalities. About mammography, this technique uses a low energy X ray beam to maximize differences in soft tissue density and demonstrate the internal architecture of the breast. Compression of the breast, a short exposure time, and the use of high quality screen film equipment to improve image quality. The following may be see, seen on the mammogram. The duct radiates out from the nipple and may be seen centrally if dilated. When fat predominates, the duct may be seen. When fibrotic and glandular tissue predominate, the ducts are difficult to see. Depending on parenchymal pattern, that is, the relative composition of ductal, fatty, and fibrotic or glandular tissue. Blood vessel may be distinguished from the duct as they run more haphazardly through the breast and have more uniform caliber whereas duct increase in caliber as they converge on to the nipple. The view of the breast, a standard view, a 45 degree mediolateral oblique. We have a craniocaudal view. This is right craniocaudal and left craniocaudal, and uh, this uh, right mediolateral oblique and left mediolateral oblique. In the mediolateral view, uh, oblique view is obtained when the tube angled 45 to the horizontal with compression applied obliquely uh, across the chest wall, uh, perpendicular to the uh, long axis of pectoralis major muscle. On a properly positioned mediolateral uh, oblique view, the inferior aspect of the pectoralis muscle should extend down to the pectoral nipple line. This is the, the pectoral nipple line, and this is the inferior aspect of the pectoralis muscle. And anterior margin of the pectoralis muscle should be convex. Uh, a pectoral nipple line and retroglandular far are ideally visualized. Uh, opening, uh, opening up uh, of the infra uh, mammary fold without overlying skin fold, the breast fold up and away from chest. This is the uh, skin fold, inferior uh, inframammary skin fold should be opened. This is often a uh, mediolateral uh, oblique view and the craniocaudal view. Uh, this is the nipple and glandular tissue, retromammary fat, and the uh, pectoral muscle. And this is the upper ligament. This is a craniocaudal view. Other view, uh, craniocaudal and uh, mediolateral oblique view show pectoral muscle and nipple and uh, parenchymal tissue. Now breast uh, composition. Uh, the breast have a different uh, according parity and uh, age. Uh, the letter A uh, represent the uh, breast are uh, more int almost entirely fatty in this uh, picture, and the mammography is highly sensitive in this uh, view. 
uh, scattered uh, fibroglandular tissue. In this uh, view, uh, there are a scattered area of fibroglandular density. And now in this uh, view, the breasts are heterogeneously dense, which may obscure small masses. And uh, in this view, the breasts are ex extremely dense, which uh, lower the sensitivity of mammography. Fibroglandular density, uh, level one, uh, less than 25% uh, density uh, mean fatty breast tissue. And level two, uh, less than 50% density scattered density, uh, glandular tissue can scatter uh, more than uh, level one. And uh, level three, uh, more than 50% density heterogeneous dense breast. Level four, uh, more than 75% density extremely dense. Uh, now, uh, this uh, progress with age in elderly female, more fatty, and in young female, uh, female, equal uh, more uh, dense breast. Uh, this is a mediolateral oblique view uh, of uh, fatty uh, breast uh, with a small cancer easily seen. Uh, this uh, dense breast. Uh, contain large cancer, but it is difficult to detect it. Other modality uh, for uh, breast examination is ultrasound. Uh, this is uh, show, this uh, uh, picture show the uh, pre-mammary fat layer and this uh, mammary layer, glandular tissue, and uh, this uh, retro-mammary layer uh, contain the pectoralis muscle and rep. Other pictures show dilation of lactiferrous duct in lactating uh, women and disbranching lactiferrous. And this is the Normal breast tissue with the cyst and the fatty lobule, the left. Now about breast MRI. MRI is uh, highly sensitive in detecting uh, breast cancer, but high cost and low specificity limit uh, the use of MRI as a screening tool. Another problem is that MRI cannot identify malignant calcification. MRI is the technique of choice to differentiate between post-operative scarring and local recurrence. Potential rule for contrast enhanced MRI of the breast. Determining the size and extent of uh, an out-invasive cancer, identifying multi-centric lesion, evaluating the axillary breast of women who come initially to a tension with axillary metastasis, identifying a recurrent carcinoma in conservative treated breast. Uh, this is a, a view of uh, coronal MRI. Uh, breast MRI. Uh, this is the uh, view we show to one weighted image with fast suppression uh, with the contrast. Uh, this is a glandular tissue and the fast suppression and pectoral muscle. This is a T2 weighted image of uh, coronal. This is axial and this coronal section. Uh, glandular tissue, copper ligament, fatty tissue, and this is uh, uh, pectoralis muscle, and this is heart. Breast MRI show uh, white fat uh, tissue uh, and uh, glandular tissue uh, in axial tier one, and more dark. Next to the previous uh, picture about uh, fatty tissue and copper ligament, glandular tissue, and the uh, pectoral muscle and uh, costal cartilage with the heart, sternum and heart. Now about uh, the letter A, uh, if you show the uh, mammography, uh, show an irregular satellite hyperdensity uh, mass with uh, a plan on a cleavage between the tumor and the pectoralis muscle. Uh, 
uh, while in MRI, in MRI uh, show that the tumor is attached to the pectoralis fascia and image show some underlying muscle and facial enhancement. This is the mass uh, in uh, uh, mammography and in MRI. Mammography now in the uh, this uh, picture uh, show uh, only one of the speculated small nodule was uh, found, while NMRI show uh, enhancing irregular nodule, both of which consist of malignancy. So enhancing nodule. Sentinel node mapping. Uh, lymph uh, centogram uh, of the breast. Technetium sulfur. A colloid has been injected around the tumor in the left breast. Uptake is seen in the first draining node in the axilla. Uptake is also seen in the thyroid gland and in the liver. Radioisotope uh, tumor. Uptake, uh, it can be sentinel node. Uh, node. Uh, it can be thyroid. It can be the liver. Other modality in the dictogram performed by injection of contrast material into the orifice of leptipedras duct at the nipple. It is demonstrated the complex ramification, ramification of the single mammary ductal system. The primary indication of, uh, to evaluate a single duct which has discharge, seldom done, done now due to uh, advent of ultrasound and MRI. Normal uh, ductal anatomy, craniocaudal and um, mediolateral review. Uh, now we uh, show filling of the parenchymal system in the upper in our quadrant via the cannulated duct. Uh, normal ductal structure seen uh, ramifying back into a small ductal element, eventually filling the rounded lobule. Uh, other modality molecular breast imaging, uh, a new technique using target molecules, uh, FES for estrogen receptor, has been shown to be good complementary technique to conventional mammography, especially for women with dense breast, especially useful for imaging patients who cannot have an MRI. More cost effective and less time consuming than MRI. Mammography uh, of uh, left breast and uh, uh, molecular breast imaging of the left breast. Uh, digital mammography can be difficult to interpret due to dense breast, and the MBI confirmed by biopsy revealed cancer. Digital breast tomosynthesis, development uh, to, uh, to improve detection and characterization of a breast lesion, especially in women with dense breast. In this technique, multiple projection images are reconstructed, allowing visual review of thin breast section. Potential to unmask cancer obscure by normal tissue located above and below the lesion, but no randomized evidence of uh, advantage over mammogram yet. Tomosynthesis work uh, up for a possible mass. Uh, in letter A and B, the clinic mammogram, a focal asymmetry of possible architecture distortion is seen in the lower outer portion of the left breast, but the finding is not apparent because of the overlapping fibroglandular tissue. In C and D, uh, tomosynthesis, mediolateral oblique, and the craniocaudal projections depict the architectural distortion or speculated mass clearly, suggesting a mal malignancy. In letter E, uh, contrast enhanced uh, magnetic resonance image of the left breast show the speculated mass. Biopsy proven to uh, be invasive ductal uh, cancer. اوكي دكتور فرح نعم. اكو احد عنده سؤال قبل ما نروح على الكويز بالنسبه للبريس اناتومي والراديوغرافيك ما اي استاذ بس الصوره مال الام ار اي العفو استاذ رقم واحد
واضحه يمكم الصوره استاذ؟ الصوره واضحه استاذ العادي يمكن مو يعني فصل بالنت مالته فصل يلا هسه نبدي رقم واحد ايمان حميد نعم استاذ كوبرز ليجامنت كوبرز ليجامنت زين رقم اثنين زهراء نعم استاذ جلاندولار تيشو رقم ثلاثه محمد حسن نعم استاذ الفاتلو بيون رقم أربعة مرتوى نعم أستاذ بكتورالس مصر بكتورالس مصر خمسة سؤد نعم أستاذ خمسة رب بس إذا رب عماد رقم ستة هذا إذا ردكت زينب هاتف رقم واحد زينب ويانا نعم استاذ نعم آه، رقم واحد البكتورالس مصر بكتورالس زهراء عبد الحسين نعم استاذ آه، رقم اثنين روترو جلاندولار فات روترو جلاندولار ساره انمار نعم جلاندولار بريست تشو رقم ثلاثه اكسلنت آه، عندنا زينه عبد الجبار رقم أربعة حيكون النبلز النبلز أكو بعد نعم أستاذ رقم خمسة عديل عديل كريم في عام خمسة كوبرز دي جامد طبعا دي كوبرز دي جامد عشتي لك شو جامد شو جامد شو جامد شكرا جزيلا دكتوره فرح صوره كان 